Jet engines are so hot inside, the metal turbine blades should melt, but they don't. And the reason why is borderline sorcery. Inside a modern high-bypass turbofan like the GE90 or Trent XWB, core temperatures can exceed 1,700 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the melting point of the very metals used to make it. So how does it not self-destruct? Answer active blade cooling. Turbine blades are hollow, cold compressed air is tapped from the front of the engine and bled through tiny holes inside each blade. This creates a thin film of cool air that insulates the blade from the surrounding flame. It's like putting your hand in a furnace and wearing a microscopic air shield. Without this cooling, the blade metal would fail in seconds. Even with advanced nickel alloys and thermal barrier coatings, you still need that cold air bleed. Or the whole engine melts itself from the inside out. It's not just airflow, it's survival airflow. This is why bypass air matters. It's not just about fuel efficiency, it's about engine integrity. The hottest part of the jet engine stays alive by breathing cold air through razor-thin ducts inside each spinning blade. It's brutal engineering, balanced by air that's colder than ice at 40,000 feet. Jet engines spin at over 10,000 RPM at temperatures that melt metal, but survive because the air protects the steel. So next time you board a flight, remember what's keeping that engine alive is a breath of cold air inside a blade.